Just like him, just sub him, it's Yaka Cham 21! What's up, YouTubers? Today's Yahia Champ 21. I am back with another video. How are we all doing today? I hope everyone is doing well. Welcome back to another vlog where we go to a town city village in Scotland. Today we've arrived to another village in North Ayrshire. We haven't done a village in a while, and that is West Kilbride. So, as you can see, we have arrived at the train station. We took the train to get here and i'm really excited to vlog this place so it's quite a warm day as well so there's lots of things to do here and i cannot wait guys so guys make sure you watch the whole video as you're gonna get a great tour of this place and you might even be interested to come to the place one day so yeah guys without further ado let's get this started with right guys first thing we've arrived to is the kirk ton hall glen so this is like a park so it's got like a football pitch a play park and it's got lots of other stuff there's like sporting you can do outside you can even have a picnic and all that here big grass area so i'm gonna show you around them because i was actually gonna go to the museum first but the museum doesn't open till two o'clock at the moment it's like quarter two so there's still time so i'm gonna introduce show you around so we've just got the slides a spinny i've not even used this in ages. I think the last time was in Brookfield. I actually vlogged a mini park in Brookfield. Yeah, I did vlog that place once before. So yeah, as you can see behind me, we've got the swings. We've got swings for younger people. Just a wee slide and then a mini seesaw for like the like five-year-old kid, something like that. But yeah, guys, so I'm actually going to go down there in a few minutes. I'll show you that later once I sit in the park, just relax my phone and uh, yeah, just text my friends tell them that I've arrived at West Kilbride. So yeah, guys, I will get back to you soon. So here we are, we've got our football pitch, we've got the goals that don't even have any nets on them and the goalposts look quite tiny, anyone who's like round about my height could just easily just, like, it's just it's just nearly tall is it, if you get what I mean by that, I'm like, I'm like up to here, I'm not going to step on this, it's a bit of uh, mud over here but we're going to keep walking on, see what else there is to do here. We do have a very lovely bridge to walk past. So here we are. We do have other things. So we've even got a badminton course. So there's actually a badminton club in West Coast. I don't know if you can see it that well because there's a it's a green thing in the way. But yeah, so as you can see, you even got a huge area, grass area over here. And yeah, so that's pretty much it from there. Hope I can see some other stuff. Uh, I could go left this time. I came from that way, but I'm gonna go left and see if there's anything else to do here. So at the moment, I can definitely tell West Kilbride is very good. It's got a few things in here, and this is only the first place we've vlogged so far today. So let's keep exploring. Let's see what else it is to do here. In here is just uh, we've got another bridge, but then also we've got something good up here. If any of you are really interested, not all of you will be, but some of you will be. So, let's so we'll go up. You may be asking what it is, but we've not arrived to it yet. So yeah, as you can see, there's another goalpost, but there's no other goalpost at the other side. So that's a bit strange, but we also do have a wee little skateboard park. So you could just, I don't know if you could do like tricks and all that on your bike, etc. like that. You know what I'm talking about. It does look quite rusty. You can also see all the brown bits. Let's go up to it real quick. Yeah, as you can see it looks quite rusty, but still, I don't know if that's all right. I mean, the concrete's a bit weird, so I don't know if anyone could possibly easily slip. I don't know, but yeah, it's quite small as well. Yeah, that's the last thing I'm going to show you is from here. And yeah, guys, I will see you when we get out of here to the next destination. Here we go. Right guys, so we have arrived to the West Kilbride Museum. So this is where we were going next, as most of you probably would have known that. So we're gonna go inside. I'm excited.
So guys, this is more about people who actually live in West Kilbride and there's actual artists who are local here. And mm, these look quite old as well. I quite like it. Wow. Baby stuff is all hand done, would you believe? Hand done? Little motif oh. is hand done. Oh wow. It's called Fleuro. Oh, okay. some oil on it oh, wow. but it was hard it was hard and when it was wet it was so heavy oh, geez. you don't have to imagine why people get head injuries yeah with head and a thing like that uh-huh yeah So guys, that's me just out of the museum and that was a really great experience. It was very interesting and lots of the stuff were just about West Kilbride and the history and all that. There was lots of stuff that I didn't actually realise was in West Kilbride, the history and all that. But it was really fun to be in that museum. There was actually a nice kind lady that showed me around and all that. It was very nice of her. But yeah guys, I'm off for a wee little snack break and I'll see you when we get to the co-op that West Kilbride have and I'll see you there. Okay guys, so we've got a uh, potato salad, so that's just potatoes, red pepper, spring onion and a mango sauce and mayonnaise as well, yoghurt, um, chilli heat with Doritos and a crunchy nut bar, so yeah, so I'm just going to munch into this and I will get back to you. Right guys, so after my break I am done, so I am actually now going to vlog the Barnerney Centre. So this has got an exhibitions ga gallery shop and cafe, so I'm going to have a wee look for you and just show you some interesting things I can show you. So let's go inside. So as a museum that we visited, this one also has a lot of nice art galleries. Oh wow, that's a lot of money. So the cheapest so far is 140 euro. Guys, I'm worried we're not here to buy anything, so I just had to have a wee look around because I thought this might interest some of you guys. Wow, 400. Wow, that's amazing. Starfish, 25. A lot of nice stuff. Here. This picture looks like someone's head is just put in the sand pit and then after. Yeah, there's just for some reason a weird face at the front. It's really... It's kind of strange, but yeah. Oh well. What does not determine who is right, only is left. Piecing contributed, not fought for. Mm. There was never a good war or a bad peace. Those who believe absorbed titles will come out of them. Wow. He's got spiky hair as well. It seems like West Kilbride is a bit of a more historical place than I thought. I mean, it is only a village after all, but yeah, got some lights over here. Mm. Looking 
get looking for I, Richie Cameron. This is an artist's story, so you can read that if he's like, I don't know if he's know that guy, Ken Tong, don't know, but I don't know if I got that right, but he's gonna have a read at that if he's won. There you have it. This is our coffee of us. So, an artist called Susan Bamford Photography. I'll show you a few of the pictures. Just a lot of sunsets. Just show you a few random one, guys. Yeah, a lot of them have sunset pictures. This one, we've just got a view of the beach. It's very nice as well. And it actually tells you at the bottom what it is. So, Arnhem from Seamel Beach. Seamel is a place in Scotland, guys, that will well vlog in the future. So, yeah, guys, that's actually all I can show you is for today. So, yeah, guys, we'll get out of here and I'll vlog the next destination. Here we go. Right here we are, guys, at the War Memorial. So, yep. Here you guys have it. So we'll go to the first one first. So West Kilbride War Memorial, 1914 to 1918. So as you can see guys, you've got a lot of names over there. And there's names here. Yeah, so these ones were in the first one. And I like how West Kilbride have just done like a huge and then like we've put all the names there instead of putting them like round there I think it'd make it more clearer you, you can see it better and yes so here's the second one so they didn't actually reveal their names until the 3rd of June 2001 so here's a wee few names over there so yep yeah. and yep as you can see there's just poppies around it and there's the cross Well, they actually have a poppy. It's like cross. It's in the shape of a cross. It's kind of cool. So now, guys, we are going to move on to our next destination, and I will see you there. Let's go. Right, guys. Here's our next destination, the Kirkton Hall Sundale Monument. So this is the oldest building in West Kilbride, and this is actually next to the park that we went to just a while ago i didn't actually realize it was here so i was looking for it for a while it's a grade b list property but the sundale monument located at the front of the building is a grade a list monument and a unique design is only seen in scotland this was once owned by robert barr famous for his soft drink iron brew but now it's now private home remains and now little Ch charles rennie macintosh designs so yeah guys as you can see that's the house over there and there you have it, it's over here. So hey guys, we're going to move on to our next destination. It's only a five minute walk. I'll see you when we get there. Right guys, before we wrap up the video, I want to show you the Craft Town Scotland. Studio 86, there's actually lots down there. You can see Studio 99B. So, West Kilbride has this, but this is the first accredited Craft Town and winner of the Creative Palace Award in 2012. Known as a village, West Kilbride may be a small town, but it definitely does offer a lot of designer shops. So, yeah guys, as you can see, we do have a lot of designs here. So, yeah, as you can tell, so far, during this West Kilbride journey, we have seen lots of art crafts, which is kind of cool. This is quite interesting as well. And um, these are actually quite popular around Scotland. So if you do research on the craft town Scotland, then you'll find more about this. But yeah, guys. 
that's it for today. I really do hope you have enjoyed today's West Coast Bright vlog. I really had a good time there. It was great to experience a lot of new stuff that I haven't seen before. But yeah, guys, that's it for today. If you liked the video, then like the video. Comment if you want to say something about the video. And most importantly, guys, you just need to click that subscribe button as you will follow my adventure in Scotland. Follow the adventure in Scotland. I really had a good time in West Cobray today. It was really interesting, a lot of art designs and all that. Overall, it's a really great village to visit. But yeah, anyway, guys, I will see you later. Goodbye, everyone. Just like him, just up him. It's Yasha Charm 21.